You mentioned that people can make an appointment and walk in and leave with $500. Do you expect everyone will be able to get their hands on that money that quickly, assuming they're approved? Yeah, thank you for the question. Um, so again, each branch is different. So we encourage people to go to the website, emergencychecks.gov, um, I forget what the actual emergencychecks.org and .gov, or call 211. Um, it's better if you fill out the application if you can ahead of time. But in most cases, uh, uh, we have branches making appointments, so you'll come in, or some of them will take uh, walk-ins. Um, when the application is filled out and the identification procedures are met, people will be given the option of a uh, direct deposit, a check, or um, uh, you know, one of those debit cards where the money can be put onto. People will walk out the door when they, after they've had the appointment or they filled out the application and, and, and been approved, they will leave that day with the money. I thought, Tina, Christina, Lisa, watch this one. Somewhere in our phone calls, we thought we could average eight minutes for a person. I don't know where that went, but we said something like that. I'm not going to say that we guarantee that, but and as Tina has pointed out very pretty, it's interesting. Some are going to ask for, you can walk in as we speak, others you need an appointment. So you, that's why when you contact, you know, and that's their call. We, we didn't dictate that. That's the private sectors, the, the credit unions, the banks, that's their call because they've hired extra people to do this. They're going out of their way to do this. Some want to do it by appointment, as the speaker said, and some want to do it by just walking. It's a very dynamic. Remember, some of these branches haven't even been open. They've been only doing appointments since the beginning of the pandemic. So it really does depend on each branch and each community.